Good morning, everyone. Today is the day, the day we've been waiting for. It is parade day, Saturday, and we started off with the zombie run. Mom, the mombi, we have the mombi with us. So we're headed down to the zombie run now. Uh, it starts really early. So we were up at like 7.30 getting ready for it. Uh, that's why it is completely dead out. Everybody was partying late. We could hear them from our room on Bourbon Street. Uh, sorry, there's no update yesterday after the uh, captain's party, but basically all we did was um, go to the captain's party. It was They had food, which was really, really good. Um, a nice little spread buffet, which was good to fill our stomachs after not eating from lunch all the way up until then. And uh, just hung out with some people and then just, you know, went crashed early because we wanted we wanted to be refreshed for today because today is the day. It's like uh, one of my, you know, since we've been coming down here for years, one of my big, big bucket lists is to be in the uh, New Orleans parade of some kind. And with Halloween being this one, it fits us perfectly. Hey, you were second. You were second place. Yeah. The second uh, woman. Second yeah. woman. You were like fourth overall. See, I told you. Did you run as hard as you could? <laughs> okay. All right. So this is how we're rationalizing this. Is Nicole actually won. She's the first person to cross the finish line that's actually a zombie. So a human woman crossed the finish line first. But this is the zombie race. So Nicole, she's the first zombie mombi that actually crossed the finish line. So she actually won the zombie race. All right, post, post race lunch is going to be as touristy as it seems. It's Willie's chicken because it's kind of like a tradition for us to always go there. And and uh, I think to be honest, we just really like it. Yes. Like not just is it traditionally kind of something something we do on Bourbon Street, but I, I it's one of my favorite chicken places. Maybe my favorite chicken place. <laughs> Blue with that, that unboxing. Yeah, this is the unboxing. That's the right order. Three piece tenders is always the right order. I don't know if anybody orders anything else. All right, so with an hour about to go before we have to get ready, we're on the pool deck floor. So we just figured we would hit the pool yes. um, real quick anyway. The best pool in New Orleans, I've stayed at a bunch of different places in New Orleans. The Royal Snesses pool is by far the best one that I've seen down here. And I will have a full walkthrough of this hotel finally coming up very, very soon. So here is the, these are the outfit reveals partial. We've still got to get our faces done. 
um, for the 2024 crew of boo. Mom will go first. Dun, 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 dun. Here's, here's dad. like um, going to church, like I'm tithing all of the things we're throwing, so we get 10% of it to keep and take back for ourselves. update that Allegiant wants us to check into our flight tomorrow while we were riding and I was like Allegiant you're gonna have to wait I'm sorry I'm sorry but you're gonna have to wait I'm just going the other way
All right, so that's our experience this weekend in New Orleans with the crew of Boo participating in all of the activities. Thanks for checking this out. If you are watching it, maybe you're interested in going down during Halloween season uh, to New Orleans. Let me start by saying with this wrap up that it was an absolutely fantastic experience, met all of my expectations. Again, I mentioned earlier that this was really a bucket list item for me is being in a New Orleans parade. I've been going to New Orleans now at least once, twice, sometimes three times a year for 20 years now. And I've always thought about how neat of an experience it would be to be in one of these parades. I've seen so many parades down there uh, and just something I thought was a pipe dream up to this point that I actually got to live out now. And, and hopefully you enjoyed uh, the videos footage of us actually being in the parade. Um, you know, I, I mentioned it's a bucket list item, but now it's going to be something, you know, once we did it, we realized that we want to keep doing it. So it's going to be a more of a tradition for us. You know, we met some really, really cool people, people that I would consider friends at this point that we're going to potentially stay in contact with, hang out again uh, in April when they have their ball and hopefully ride with, coordinate to ride with next year, uh, next crew of Boo, next uh, parade. So definitely something that's going to be a tradition for us. Again, it combines two of my favorites, New Orleans, the city of New Orleans, and Halloween um, together. So let me just give you a, a couple of interesting kind of final thoughts. Um, Interesting thing number one is, you know, this video left off with us uh, getting off of the parade or just being done with the parade uh, itself. When that happened, so we were one of the last floats. So the floats are all coming in and we were one of the last floats and the Monster Mash is going on as at the same time. So it had started an hour at least before our parade got there. And we'll talk about the Monster Mash here in just a second, uh, the after party. But once our parade stopped, people flooded off of our, once our float stopped, people flooded off of our particular float because they wanted to get into the party. And Nicole and I, my wife and I, were kind of standing around like, oh, kind of where did everybody go? We wanted to hang out for a little bit, like actually on the float. So we were looking around and, you know, there's just tons of boxes and, you know, it's just chaos on the float afterwards. And we're looking around like so many people left, you know, there's a bag of beads over here, a bag of stuffed animals over here, cups over here, coins over, all this stuff. We're just kind of walking around like everybody just left everything. You know, we don't know how this goes and if this is what you're supposed to do. So we walk down because we're on the top level. We walk down to uh, the, uh, the parade float captain and say like, what's gonna happen with all of this extra stuff that everybody left? And he basically said, I think this is exactly what he said, if it's not nailed down, you can take it. And saying that to us is one of the worst things you can do <laughs> because we spent the next 15 minutes going through all of these different boxes. Some of these were unopened boxes, going through boxes and bags of beads. And we got so much extra stuff. We got all a bunch of extra beads and they were just gonna throw all this stuff away. So we might as well might as well keep it, I guess, is, is what we thought. We got a bunch of extra beads, all of these cups, these souvenir cups, a bunch of coins, you know, and Ben loves this stuff, loves when we bring this kind of stuff back. So we got a bunch of different stuff. We, out, we were able to completely fill up our claw machine with Halloween stuffed animals because people left so many stuffed animals behind. So I thought that was really, really interesting that everybody left, left all of their stuff. And just by the nature of the two of us, we were like, well, if we can take it, we're going to take it. And we found a way to consolidate things in our bags and fit it in. Um, so, and then we did go to the Monster Mash. Now the Monster Mash went on late. It was it was a party of all parties. Everybody was in costumes. The costumes were awesome. People were partying hard. We only stayed for about an hour or so. You know, we were spent by this point. You know, we were up very, very early uh, in the morning to do the zombie race. And, you know, we're kind of anticipating this all day long. And then we have this, you know, big rush of excitement with being actually on the parade. You know, being on the parade, you know, finally, what a neat experience to be seeing a parade so many times looking up and and 
you know, waving to the people on the parade float and then they see you and they throw you something specific and that special feeling that you feel like they connected with me to be able to see that on the other end, to point down to somebody that's waving to you and say, I'm throwing this to you and then throw them something. And then when they catch it, it's like, uh, you know, you just threw a touchdown pass, a 50 yard touchdown pass or something like that. So just a super, super cool experience. This won't be the final video for the crew boo this, uh, this season, this year. I'm gonna do one more, and it is just basically how we got into the crew boo, what we spent to be in it, all of that kind of stuff. So just kind of a summary of the logistics, uh, how we got in, you know, the process, and the financial commitment that if you wanna do it, you will need to be ready for, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking with us. If you watched all, all of them, I hope you got something out of them and um, happy Halloween. We'll be doing Halloween videos here, uh, you know, for the rest of spooky season. If you're seeing it during that time, take care.